this is exactly what I like. Tyson Ferry calls out my boy, Anthony Joshua. He claims that the belts he's holding, Joshua that is, those are my belts. You're not a real champion. You're a paper champion. I'm the man who beat the man. And I'm the man today with the WBC strap. I'm coming for that. And I'm like, come for that, man. But before we get into that, I would like to say, you know, a lot of the other, the others out there that are... Tyson Fury detractors, right? You know, Tyson Fury, this beat Deontay Wilder. So Deontay Wilder fans out there spreading false rumors about Tyson Fury. But we all know it's all fake. And that just tells us what type of people they are, right? Your boy CBT may be many things, man. But I call it down the middle. Listen, man. I don't want you guys to get caught up in the mess where they tell you, right, that Tyson Fury fans are really not his true fans. They're Anthony Joshua fans pretending to like Tyson Fury. That can't be furthest from the truth, right? I like Tyson Fury. I, I've been a Tyson Fury supporter for a very long time. My videos prove Anthony that, Anthony right? Joshua is my favorite fighter. He's a top heavyweight. I've never seen anyone move and shake with the power and the skills and the technical abilities that he has. So he's definitely my world champion, right? He represents the United States of America, if you ask me, because Sloppy Wilder was not a good representative of what we like in the heavyweight champion. Point blank, period, in the discussion. Now, so don't make them make you believe that Ty you're not a Tyson Fury fan. You can be both, right? Like I am. Now, at the end of the day, I like this. Tyson Fury, talk your talk. We want that word. So at the end of the day, Truthfully, I believe Anthony Joshua beats Tyson Ferry. Easy early. Not an easy fight, but you see what I'm saying? I think that Anthony Joshua is not Deontay Wilder. It's been proven. Anthony Joshua got more skills, more different abilities, a lot of tools in his chest box that he's going to be able to display in that ring. Back foot game, power, great jab, great hook, right? Great defense on the back foot. Not too much on the front foot if you're a fast counter puncher like we've seen Andy Ruiz and we've seen Joseph Parker tap your boy up. We've seen Pavekin tap your boy up. But what we've seen, and this is why Anthony Joshua is a great fighter, is because he know how to adapt and react and that's what he did with your boy Joseph Parker. That's what he did with your boy Pavekin. That's what he did against the greats out there as far as, you know, the greats. His clips go. Got dropped. Got back up. Put him down. Hit him with an uppercut. Things of this nature. Came back against Ruiz. So I'm going to make this video too long and then show that I got a back for game. You see what I'm saying? And I got power too. So I'm going to use this tactic in order to win this fight. People talk about he ran. But we can say your boy the way Bully Spence ran when he didn't knock out your boy Mikey Garcia. He was a smaller fighter. Yeah, and Ruiz was a smaller fighter, but it was technical. You don't have to knock out everybody to win a fight, man. You just got to show your boxing ability, and I'm telling you right now, listen, Anthony Joshua was the truth, but your boy Tyson Ferry is going to put up a great fight, right? I'm going with my boy Joshua, but obviously this is going to be a, a two-fight deal, three-fight deal. Rematches is going to be in play. I like Tyson Ferry chances. I think he got a great jab. Underrated jab, great body attack, and he knows how to front fight front foot forward as a counter punch, which I didn't think he had of him. Then he showed me, but we have to put everything in perspective. Because I, I want to put it in perspective, right? I don't want to just be talking off the handle here. We got to understand something. Deontay Wilder is a limited fighter, right? So Tyson Fury knew that, understood that even in the first fight. Even before they fought, limited fighting. But Tyson Fury was coming back, losing all that weight. His body didn't adjust. Yeah, his reflexes wasn't all the way there. So in the first fight, he just won to a decision. The point is, Deontay Wilder is a one-trick pony. Big right hand. Nothing else, right? I can't stress it enough. Nothing else. So it was not easy, but yeah, kind of easy. I don't, I don't want to use more easy, but for lack of a better word, Easy to get inside with a jab. Easy to go to the body. Easy to shoot a hook. Easy to lay on the man. Go to the body on the man. Have him on the ropes and he can't move nowhere. That's what you can do to a guy like Deontay Wilder that's limited. But you can't expect Tyson Fury to be able to do that to every fighter he get in the ring with. I don't care if he turn the switch on his turn and off and on. You can't do that against Joshua. You can't get up close in the pocket and think you're going to shake and move. You can't get in the pocket with a guy like you know, or Pavekin, or, you know, Ortiz, even Ruiz. You're not going to get in the pocket. 
with these dudes, bro. You're just not because they got more skills. They can do different things. You see what I'm saying? So having said that, the fight's going to look totally different. And Eddie Hearn understands this. Eddie Hearn's like, listen, man, yeah, it's, I'm happy Tyson Fury won that fight. And I believe that, you know, Anthony Joshua will, will, will smoke him. And he's not just saying that because he promotes Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua is priority number one. But the point is, styles make fights. And Anthony Joshua shows that his style is so versatile that you literally got to lay in a lucky punch or just be on a different planet. You see what I'm saying? I tell you what, that dude, Du Bois, Dubois, <laughs> he's a, a, a long, rangy, powerful puncher. You know what I mean? A little bit uh, green, but I like his scales. He is coming up in the ranking. He will be something to be uh, a force to be reckoned with. I give him a better chance of beating Anthony Joshua than your boy Tyson Fury. But see, I'm still a Tyson Fury fan. I just know Styles make fights. I got the boys, the boy beating Tyson Fury as well. Styles make fights. You see what I'm saying? The boy long, the boy got power. You can't get up close with him. He gonna throw a hook. Let me ask you a question. If you got a guy, if you, I don't care if you box before. It's 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 it's, it's his fundamentals. If a guy come close. Okay, we, we're talking a guy like Tyson. We're talking about a Tyson Fury. We're talking about a guy like Deontay Wilder. The guy get close up on you. Where's the hook at? Where's the uppercut at? Where's the body shots at? Where's the grabbing and turning your man? You know what I'm talking about? Where's the holding your head down and, and pot shotting your way up out of that thing? You see what I'm talking about? Where's all that? Those are skills that your boy Deontay Wilder lacks. There was so many things that he, he could have done to Tyson Fury in that fight that he didn't. I was like... I was just so, you know, Tyson Fury was walking through the front door without knocking, bro. You feel what I'm saying? He was throwing lead hooks, lead power uh, jabs, lead one-twos. Like, you don't, not a one-two, but a, a, a two. You know what I mean? With the right, like, you don't do that against skilled fighters that are heavyweights. Adam Kanaki wouldn't even allow somebody to run up in there without knocking on that door. You got to knock on that door with that jab first. Deontay Wilder, listen, I say a lot about Deontay Wilder. I mean, look, his jab was decent, right? I mean, he did a great job with it. We can't call it excellence. We can't call it great because, you know, ain't nothing great about that guy. But the jab was decent. You know what I mean? Against Fury in his second fight. I was surprised. I'm like, oh, where that jab come from? <laughs> where that body come You dig what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, I like that. That was good for the people. So, I don't know if he can get better. He showed me a better jab, people. I'm telling you right now. So, if he get with a better a, a, a trainer, somebody that can talk to him and, and work on some things and just work on it, work on it, work on it, then maybe he can show us something different in the second and third fight. But the point of the matter is, man, Anthony Joshua and your boy Tyson Fury is a blockbuster fight. This fight will happen, and it gets going to go down because I don't think that Deontay Wilder, if he gets a little better, if he changed the tactics, he's still going to be able to get a decision against Tyson Fury. I just don't see that happen. I think mentally he's drained, mentally he's done. Tyson Fury needs to do the same thing he did in the first fight, even mix it up a little bit. And I think he's going to win. Like You, you see, when you got so many tools, you, you can use whatever needs to be used. In that fight, that's what Anthony Joshua got. He got so many tools. When he go sit down, and come back up, then he shot the hook. Then he went with the, with the uppercut and dropped the boy Pavek and said, "Stop playing with me. You bust my nose early, play boy. Cut it out. I'm champion. You see what I'm saying? I'm the man who beat the man. You dig? That's what we talking about here. But look, we're gonna get undisputed people. We're gonna get undisputed. And I was thinking about doing a video on combating." You know, the the, the the effery that's going on with the glove gate and, and all the Tyson Fury, you know, craziness that's going around right now. A, a, a video displaying gloves, talking about Deontay Wilder and how he was hitting behind the head and how his gloves looked deformed. I got all the pictures. I'm just like, should I really waste my time doing so? I mean, you allowed a guy like the young Pharaoh. And, and you know what I mean? Look, I'm going to tell you something right now. I, I got that same energy with anybody. I, and this, I, I'm breathing like because I got so much like I want to say stuff like we dig like I don't care young Pharaoh he don't know nothing about boxing he's a kickboxer that can't kickbox I see him get whooped out by a million white boys not literally a million white boys but every white boy he showed in, in, in on, his, on his video 
that kickbox for him was smashing him out. And your boy CBT put hands and feet too. Point blank, period. Tell him to set it up. I want that work too. If you're not in the boxing world, you still can get that work because he got a big name. But I know who he is. I know what he does. He's a scammer, people. And you're not going to scam your way into boxing and talk about some craziness. You might as well be down with the LDBC because you sound just like these dudes, delusional and deranged. Point blank, period. Listen, we don't make those type of excuses in boxing. You came at a time where you, when a time where Deontay Wilder got smashed out. And and, 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 and then that boxing conversation, cocksucker, has, in, has taken this thing too far with the gloves and the cheating and all this stuff. And you came in at a perfect time to give your demonstration. Because that's what he do, people. He does presentations and he, he lined it up well. And, and to his credit, he's a really, really good talker. And he knows how to present something to look a certain way. He's good at that. But it, it's so easy to debunk. And if you're watching closely, I can sh this dude, um, I, can, I will eat this dude a lot. I am not into the conscious community and all that, books and all that, but they be reading and all that. I, I, but I will smash. You know how I'm, I used to watch Young Pharaoh, bro. I used to like Young Pharaoh, bro. I rock with the dude. What's the homie name? Uh, uh, good God, the dude from over there around the corner. Um, what's this dude's name, man? Good name. It's a good name. Um. The dude. So, like, I know, bro, but you can't come into the to the boxing game now. This dude name is on my mind. What the hell is this nigga name? Nature Boy. My boy Nature Boy. Yeah, Nature Boy. You know what I mean? And, and, and then, like, I know these people. I watch these dudes. I used to watch Young Farrow. He used to be subscribed, but he's a, you know what I mean? I, I've learned more. I understand now. I mean, when he told me that that thing was real, it's goddamn... I got the thing on my computer, man. It's had three years ago, bro. Like, listen to me, people. We're not going to allow people to infiltrate our sport without being checked. You see what I'm saying? I heard two, three, two, three, two, three different dudes mention him, and it was like, no disrespect to him. No disrespect to Young Pharaoh. What y'all scared of Young Pharaoh? What y'all scared of him about? Because he got a, a, a lethal tongue? <laughs> what you, it's all he got is a tongue that speaks false, falsehoods. It ain't nothing he's saying is true. So you don't have to be scared that he's going to bang on you, bro. His, 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 his crew and, and his channel was not built in boxing. It's on some kind of community scamming the people type stuff. He ain't going to come in here and scam the boxing world. You dig what I'm saying? Without being checked by your boy CBT. Point blank, period. At the end of the day, man, I hope I ain't rambled too long on that cocksucker. But I will tell you this. Listen, I want that work. I want that smoke food. Whatever. I seen them box. I whip them out easy early. I go to Buffalo. We're shaking. You heard what I said. Set it up. Hear me talking. And then do a video. Let me know. Let me know. Now, we ain't going to be doing no back and forth, online, face camera, camera to camera. We ain't doing all that. It, it, we're shaking. That's it. So. Took me off the path with my boy Anthony Joshua, but I like my boy Tyson Fury talking. I think it's a beautiful thing. He got that energy. He got it high. He want that work. He going to build this fight. The fight going to be exclusive. He got a lot of energy. Anthony Joshua got a lot of energy, man. After Anthony Joshua put hands and feet on that cocksucker pull up, and he put hands and feet on that boy and stop that boy and rock that boy and send that boy back to the hospital and then back to Alabama so he can sit down somewhere. We going to get the fight we want to see. You rocking with the best. Subscribe to the channel. Peace. This beat rocking. <laughs> you should be getting a haircut to this beat right here, man. You should go watch Anthony Joshua knock out greatest hits. You see what I'm saying? Rock out to the channel, man. Subscribe. Share the video, man. And if you're Anthony Joshua supporter, man, put your fists in the air, man. If you're Anthony Joshua supporter, man, put something in the comment section, man. If you riding with Anthony Joshua, you believe he gonna knock out. <laughs> Thought you had to figure out new media, new perspective, cash boxing talk.